Welcome back to the channel and this is going to be part one of me teaching you guys how to make this really awesome cinematic animation in Blender. We're going to be using some free assets from the internet but primarily the thing that I think is really cool about this tutorial series is I'm also going to be using a free asset that I'm going to show you as well um, a link to where you can watch one of my videos where I show you completely how to download and install it for Blender 4.0. So you guys will be able to follow along as well and use the exact same tool to add in this really awesome grass and stuff. And I just really hope you guys enjoy this. This is gonna be part one. Like I said, we're gonna start off doing some um, adding in our assets and things, laying some things out, and then it'll be a part two and a part three where we'll finally finish off finish off with compositing in a compositor, adding some cool glow effects, and just really making this animation look awesome. So let's jump in to this little mini series. So for this project, we're gonna be using some different assets that are free. So I'm gonna put in the description below a link to this elephant animation here. So it's gonna be on um, Sketchfab, so you can create an account for free. So the first one you're gonna get is the elephant one, and you're just gonna to come to download 3D model, and you're gonna go ahead and download the FBX version. Then you're gonna get this stone um, statue here, the stone line. It was same thing, you're gonna click on download 3D model. And this time you're gonna download the OBJ. And then there's just gonna be um, on Polyhaven, I'm gonna put a link in the description as well, just to this HDRI that you can download. Just download it at 4K with these settings here and that should all be fine. Okay, so you're gonna download these three things. Now, full credit to these creators over here. So I'm giving full credit to the people who made these um, and they are allowed to be used for this project. So with them all downloaded, I've already downloaded them. So I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the elephant and we're gonna go ahead and extract all and go extract. And then we have a file in there. In there should be a source and you're gonna click on that source and then there's gonna be another folder. You're just gonna go ahead and extract that. And then you have this inside of there is gonna be some textures and a um, file that we can import. So let's go ahead and just take that idle elephant file over here. I'm just gonna take it and drag it into a file on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want, but I recommend you just create a folder on your desktop. I'm calling it tutorial cinematic animation. So we know it's inside of there. And then let's go back to our downloads and then let's get that stone lion. You're gonna go ahead and extract that zip folder as well. And then you're gonna click on that folder, open it up, go to the source and then extract the file inside of there. So now you're gonna take that, inside there's gonna be some textures and a 3D file. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the stone big line 01 and we're gonna drag that into the folder on our desktop. So now we already have in there the elephant and the stone line. And then lastly, in our downloads again, let's just get the HGRI. So in this case, you can right click on it it should just be called Quarry04, and you can see under the properties, it is an EXR file. So we're gonna take that one and drag it into that desktop folder as well. So now we have these assets here ready to go. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up Blender 4.0. By the time you're watching this, you might have a newer version of um, Blender, but it should be able to work. And inside of Blender 4.0, we're gonna go File, Save As, and then we're gonna save it to that desktop fi file where we've been putting all our assets. So for me, it's tutorial cinematic animation. I'm just gonna save it in there and call it cinematic underscore 01 and go ahead, save as. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna select all the default objects and press delete. Then we're gonna go shift A search and we're gonna get a plane. And with this plane here, we're gonna press N to bring up our properties and go to our item. And we're gonna come here and we're gonna take this value over here on the Y under the scale, we're gonna make it 16. And then the Z, we're gonna make that 16 as well. In fact, with the Z, it actually doesn't matter. Um, let's just go to the X here. And with the X component, we're gonna make that 19 like so. So now we have something that looks like this. And then we're gonna tab into edit mode and we're gonna right click and go subdivide. And then let's go to our subdivision tab here and let's type in 45. And then let's come and get our, um, uh, um, proportional editing here, make sure to enable that. And we wanna make sure we're in a front orthographic view. So go into your front orthographic view and then just click and move up. So we make sure we're looking at this from the front perspective. And then we're just gonna grab a corner here and we're gonna go G and with our proportional editing, just bring it up a little bit. And then we're gonna grab some here and we're just bring the, just the landscape up a little bit so it's not as flat like this, okay? Just giving a little bit of something like this. And let's grab this over here just kind of making like a little nested valley area here. They're gonna tab back out. 
And now we're gonna go file, we're gonna go import, and let's get our statue. So we're gonna go and get the OBJ option at first. And then we should be in that file. So in my case, it's on my desktop, tutorial cinematic. And I'm gonna to go to Stone Lion, and I'm just gonna go ahead, click on the OBJ inside of that file, and now it's imported. And now we're gonna go S and scale this down. So S to scale it down. I'm gonna make it about this big. And then in my front view, I'm gonna go R, X, rotate it like so. R, Z and rotate it. And then maybe just rotate it to the side a little bit and just embed it into the ground like this. And then go G, Y and move it forward in the scene just a bit. So something like that. And then we're gonna go file. We're gonna go import and we're gonna go and get an FPX this time. And then we're gonna go to the elephant idle and the inside there's the FPX, click on it. And now we have our elephant over here. And we're just gonna grab that rig on the elephant. We're gonna go S to scale it up a bit. Tilt's about this big and then in our top view, we're just gonna go G and we're gonna move it and move it over here. Like so, kind of facing towards the line here and we're just gonna rotate it slightly and place it about here. Just getting things roughly in place for now. So now if you hit the space bar, you can see that this elephant has some animation and we wanted this to be the right length. So let's come over here and let's make the animation 270 frames long. And that'll give us exactly what we're looking for. So now we have all of this. Um, for now, we're also gonna just take our rig and we're gonna go M. I'm gonna create a new collection, just call it rig. Go okay. And then for now, we can just hide that, turn it off for the render. Not that it's gonna render anyway. So now it's just out of the way. And we're gonna select the elephant as well. I'm gonna go to our modifiers and just go add modifier, click search and just type in sub. Let's get a subdivision surface modifier. And let's just turn it off in a viewport display so it doesn't cause any lag. We're then gonna go to our render settings. We're gonna make it cycles. And if you do have a GPU, I recommend you use it. And you're gonna go down to the max samples and make it 55, like so. And now let's go into our front view. And in our front view, we're gonna go Shift A. We're gonna add in a camera. And let's go to our right orthographic view and go G and move it over, like so. And then we're gonna to go to our camera settings and we're gonna give it a focal length of 90, like so. And now if we could press zero to go to our camera view, this is what we're gonna see. But what we also wanna do, we wanna go over to our output and we wanna to go to the Y over here and we wanna make that 920, just to give us a bit of a, a more cinematic look over here. And with our camera active, we're gonna go G and kind of move it over to the side like so, and then G, middle mouse button, and just kind of move our mouse just to kind of zoom back a little bit. Okay, so for now, let's just bring that rig back, or maybe let's just grab the statue and go G and just move it over to the side a little bit. Maybe embed it in the ground a little bit more, maybe rotate it slightly. So it's kind of at a bit of an angle, like it's kind of been sitting here for a long time, like so. And we'll animate the camera eventually in another part but for now, let's just also go, because we're in cycles, let's first of all go Control S just to save. Then we're gonna go to our world properties and we're gonna go click on a color. We're gonna give this an environment texture and click on open. And then we're gonna get that Quarry 04 Pure Skies EXR and go open image. And now we're gonna go Control B or Command B and drag over the camera. This is gonna limit the rendering to our camera. And now if we go Z and we go rendered, this is what we're gonna see, okay? So this has been part one of this cinematic um, tutorial over here in Blender. In part two, we'll be continuing and it'll also probably be a part three. I'll kind of just eye it and see how we go with the timing. But I hope so far you guys are enjoying this and I'll see you in the next part.